Yeah. 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 Thinking that that overheated, maybe bad capacitor. I haven't pulled the disconnect yet. Charging it even after the power is disconnected. Discharge, discharge. All the wiring looks okay. All the wiring is okay. Oh boy. This is gonna be probably back capacitors and overheated compressor and fan. Let's take a look at the fan. Fan baffles all in place. Oval 5. 
off, we can leave the start disconnected, and we can pull the, the black lead or the compressor. Continuity for the compressor. So we can take the yellow and the black. And when we're when we have continuity, then we're ready to start. So here's the yellow and the black. Let's see, we're we're still overheated. Okay, so it's just gonna take me a little bit. To, oh, it's way hot to pull that overheated compressor back at our capacitance tests. That's the 35 is bad. And then the 5 is bad. Okay, here we go. that's ready then this will be ready to go until we have continuity it's not gonna work there's the yellow and the black not there yet you can actually connect them like this again in a minute.
it an hour and then have to put the hose away after this way. 10, 15 minutes, it's ready. Okay. All right, we're ready. Okay. Now, we're gonna reconnect our wiring. So we do our black wire up top. Strong and our yellow start wire to the capacitor, and we're ready to go. All right, quick check, make sure I can go ahead and get my ice back. This got me through too. This block of ice got me through two jobs today. So that's good. Throw it all back in the bag. Throw it back in the freezer. And we're ready for anything else to come back. Okay. Now I'm gonna go plug the unit in. Yeah, we'll see. Make sure the fan starts and everything starts. And You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person's sin and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him. So if you haven't put your trust in him, call out to him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God, something that was impossible. God is holy and our sin is separated, but without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent his son, Jesus, 
you know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's gonna return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you likely die for your faith, but still, like you have eternal life. The tribulation only last seven years so if you find yourself in part of it you know it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway seven years is not a long time although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time but be faithful unto death that means trusting in jesus all the way um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food um, and it's going to be a difficult situation but uh, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because again he took all of our sin on himself at the cross so put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because he is the lamb the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world all right stay safe out there God bless God bless you Thank you.